You're making Timmy dizzy, Tabitha. Quiet, Timmy, I'm thinking. I have a very strong feeling that that bird is somewhere close by. Timmy wishes that bird would stay lost. The idea of someone discovering what's hidden inside of it. Dr. Russell's life would be destroyed, and her family's along with it. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> How can you be so mean, Tabitha? Mean? Am I the one who had Eve Russell pose for those photos? No. Am I the one who got her involved in her life the way she lived it back then? Oh, I'd love to take credit for it, but I can't. No. Eve Russell only has herself to blame. Timmy's making himself a picture, Mark Timmy. <sighs> he needs a drink. No, you're doing nothing of the sort. Now, we have to reason this out, Timmy. What could possibly have happened to that bird after you tossed it out of the window into the backyard? That's what we have to figure out. Timmy hasn't a clue. Outside of Timmy and Tala, the, the only other thing that goes out there in the backyard is Fluffy. Of course. Huh? Oh, why didn't I think of it before the Bennets? What about the Bennets? <gasps> well, they're our next-door neighbors. They're, they're the most likely people to find something in our backyard, right? Well, but Timmy thought you already looked in their window. <sighs> Yes, and I didn't see it, but I bet you someone in that house has got our bird. Pizza! Hey, this is not for you, Timmy. This is my excuse for going over to the Bennets. I have to find out if anyone over there has got the bird statue. The Bennets hate frozen pizza. Grace always cooks everything from scratch. Oh, well, Grace is an idiot. And anyway, she's not there. She and Sam are still out of town, and those half-witted kids will eat anything. You say so, Tom. Yes, well, I do. Now, get a move on. You're coming over to the Bennets with me. We've got to find that statue, Tim Tim. The time has come to expose Eve Russell's dirty little secrets. Oh, oh I do enjoy destroying happy families. <laughs> I can't wait to see those sickeningly sweet little faces dissolve into tears. <laughs> come on. Timmy wishes to me and tell they could do something nice for a change. I'm not interrupting anything. I, I, I thought I'd uh, just bring over a little dinner for the kids uh, while Mommy and Daddy are away. I had no idea everyone was over here. <laughs> Grace left food for dinner. Oh, yes, well, of course she would. Grace is such a wonderful, caring mother. Just as you are, Eve. <laughs> There's nothing wrong, is there? Uh, Charity was just starting to have another premonition. Really? Does anyone know why? Does anyone know why Charity had another premonition? Why she had it? No. Oh, too bad. I know how upsetting it is for you, dear. Well, I was able to fight this one. Stop it from happening. Well, that's very brave of you, Charity. I can recall when you had the last premonition at the shop, you remember? When you were holding that statue of the bird? Nobody here bought that bird, did they? No, that old woman took off with the bird. We haven't seen it since. Well, I don't think that Charity's premonitions have anything to do with the bird statue. I believe they're all stress-related. Oh, yes, well, of course. I'm, I'm just grasping at straws, looking for some sort of explanation. I, I won't keep you. Hope you enjoy the pizza. I'm learning to cook Italian. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Looks like I was wrong, Timmy. No one in that house has the bird. But there's something very strange going on in there. Now that's one happy couple. Not for long. But the bird is lost with the envelope 
hidden inside, and those bad pictures, and the information I need, it'll never ever be found. Never say never, Tim Tim. Secrets always have a way of coming out, and I have a feeling that Dr. E. Russell's secret is very close to being exposed. Very close indeed. Thank <laughs> you.